Hey everyone, uh, Timothy aka FGFan21 here, and today we bring you episode 10 already of my Pokemon Insurgents playthrough. Um, last time we beat the second gym and we cleared out the 5-pack city dump, and now we can travel onwards through crossroads and have a new encounter. A ditto. Ooh, ditto can be dangerous so after fall swiping it down I am out into Isabel um, so yeah today let's see if we can get to Helio City because yeah, that's just where the next part of the uh, story will go on um, yeah, just a Pokeball will suffice, I guess. But does it get the Fracture catch rate? I wonder. Hmm. <laughs> if so, it was a great mistake oh, to stay in. One, two, three. There we go. Um, I was thinking... Um, since there were not that many people reacting I can just name these after uh, people out of the uh, league I commission or I am a commissioner in so um, in episode 8 someone did react though um, just can't remember who it was I think it was cheeseburger again I just have to look that one up again because my memory is just yeah. incredibly bad. Um, reactions, cheeseburger, yeah. So um, I'm going to name Pokemon after people in the that are in the Slowbone Trick Room. So this one is going to go SFJ, because why not? It was the first name I saw, <laughs> actually, so uh, I could have had a Fletchling at level 34. So let's beat up some trainers, always nice. Radicate, Scurry Face, Dragon Dance, Assurance. Will he lower me my speed again? Nope. But with plus two speed uh, attack, I will definitely kill that. Spin that I naturally at speed. And last but not least is Swallow. That's faster, but can't kill me. <coughs> so, um, yeah, I am going to run back because healing and training and such. Um, do I want to? Switch every anything up. By the way, I don't have my uh, what you call it, sand slash. I don't think I am going to be using that. Uh, I could use a delta. Uh, what you call it? I think deltas are always in the mix of getting in there. So keep everything tidy and organized. So there we go. Um. But yeah, Sand Slash I don't think I am going to keep in the party because it's a decent Pokemon for the early routes or the start of the game. But the further we go, I think the less effective it becomes. So yeah, I think Luminion will be Storm Throw. Okay, uh, I was afraid of getting switched out. I think Luminion at some point is also going to get... Uh, Taken out for something a bit better. Hey, Psychic. That's a great upgrade over Psybeam. Um, sucker, fair enough. But yeah, it's mainly very uh, much depending on whatever I find. Because if I don't find anything better, I mean, hard to imagine, but... If so, I am just going to keep whatever I have right now. I mean, Isabel is a sure 
mount to uh, keep to the end of the journey and everything else misty way I saw a rock with a hard skill so this is also a new encounter a cast form really ouch cast form that hurt I don't like that so I'm going to paralyze you thunder punch damn this cast form is packing heat hydro pump blizzard miss haha <laughs> take that there we go so um I think I go for Theros King because I expect Theros to be packing heat in the next season <laughs> just like this cost form was doing and totally taking me by surprise so there we go back up to health um, do I want to explore further on the misty route? Misty way? Um, let's see if we can find anything. A frillish. I think I would have preferred a frillish over a uh, luminian, but it's whatever. Strange set of tiles rest on this pedestal. Oh wait, this is one of those puzzles, right? in which you have to make, I believe, a Meloetta. I'm not sure if I am supposed to turn them around, but or even if I am able to. Mm. Me making puzzles equals excitement, I guess. <laughs> so this should be like the center done. That looks like a hair piece. Um, not quite. Hmm. Maybe I need to swap those. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I think maybe this. There we go. Mysterious scroll. Okay. Is this still the misty way or misty path or whatever? I think it is because I didn't see anything like pop up saying this is another route. Psyduck, glad I did not get one of those. With all the respect to Psyduck lovers, sorry Ducky if you're watching. Um, yeah, I don't think anything very interesting is residing here anymore for now so I mean as long as I don't have um, rock climb or I'm um, substituting move for rock climb because there are moves substituting t HMs in this game but yeah as long as I don't have those um, I can't climb rocks basically so um, oh Meklis is taking it easy uh, come on Insta Leprous is vibrating why would it be vibrating Miklas, what are you doing there? Damn. A little bit buggy there. <coughs> A real complicated cave system is up ahead. Okay. Merrill. Thunderbolt, get out here. I think I need to look up, by the way, how does a... Uh, a Delta... Scyther evolve. Um, Luminion. 
I do have a wiki somewhere stored, so... Um, water pulse. My speed harshly fell, but he is paralyzed, so I don't really care about that. Cheeseburger grew level. Zangoose. Uh, cleaver. Crush claws. Ether. Delta. Low sweep. So that goes down. So there go a level. I don't need to know every move. Tutoring. Evolution. Ah, okay. Holding a never melt ice. And where can I find the never melt ice? Uh, Never melt ice. They ran town. <coughs> um, Helios department store. Isn't that where I am going to travel to next? That's exciting. Ooh, route, route 5 is another route. But first, let's handle Mr. Kyle here. Spadef race. I am going to address my attack. There we go. My ability is suppressed, but I don't really care. Okay, now I care because I don't Oko, but he really wanted up that, those rocks, I guess. And Probo Pass. Dragon Claw is not doing much, no. Earth Power. Hmm. I think Cheese can handle this. Probopass isn't the greatest offensive threat. But defensively it's a menace, as you can see. Um Cleaver. Cleaver. There we go. So I basically need a Nevermelt Ice to that, e that it needs to hold to evolve it. And talking about that complex ca cavern situation, I think it's not even the next town over Helio City. So I think we have to wait for a bit to get that evolution going. <coughs> Ace Trainer Lara with a Lilligant. Are we going to set up next to each other? Yes, we are. And I think I need to go to... Uh, really? Teeter Dance? I think I do Outspeed now. I can't even Oko that freaking thing. Mega Drain is doing more than I like. Way more than I like. Get down. Through high physical defense, but it goes down immediately. That's nice. Imoga finally goes down as well. So, um, time to get Sorrow up in, uh, the fr in the front, and we get a Rosalia quick attack. D spikes Swift he is doing a bit more. Swift. And let's go for the Pokeball. And we get it. So let's see who do I want to name this after. It's a man. I'm going for Vinny. Vinny, you are a Rosalia now. <coughs> <coughs> there we go. Um, I think that's the complex caverns system they were talking about. Yeah, I never got this entire statue thing. But I do get an encounter here. Can I get a water encounter? 
or any encounter because I would like one is this a breakable? yeah gee dude thank god you are a duplicate I am now mainly checking if one of those rocks is another, uh, whatchamacallit, Malouetta stone. And I never got these statue things the last time I played through this game, so... I think that's something for further down the line. Wait, I do have a rod, right? Uh, a good rod. Let's do that. Ooh, good rods make you invisible. Good thing to make me invisible, I guess. Not even a nibble, come on. The fact that I'm invisible doesn't mean there are no fish in here. Right? Not even a nibble. Okay, now let's go outside. Okay, what? No idea what this is, to be honest. I mean, there are, there are patches of grass, so... I reckon I can... I think I can get encounters in here, but... There we go! A Riolu! Ooh, a Riolu is very nice. Um, Swift. Swift again. Ooh. He barely survived. Um, Great Ball. Fitches the aesthetic... Matches the aesthetic pretty well. Um, yeah, stuff like that happens when it doesn't stay in the bowl. Let's try this again. Thank you. Um, I'm going to call this one Victory. Victry. Not sure which pronunciation he... Uh, oh! There were match oaks in here. Just at random cave parts. Call to the touch. Oh! Okay! Last time I was not aware there was a uh, whatchamacallit there a switch uh, where are my repels I do have repels I don't have repels okay it's whatever oh this is a static encounter this is a Delta Pidgey Delta Pidgey There we go. A uh, dark dragon type. The cockatrice Pokemon. It uses its piercing gaze to petrify foes and then perches on top of their immobile bodies. Ah, that explains. Um, milk. Choco. Let's... Milk chocolate is the Delta Pidgey. And honestly, a dark and dragon type is... I mean... Its typing is pretty bad, but... I mean... Look at Roaring Mid. Um, but still... I think I might consider it. I need to train it up though, but... I mean, I can take it over Miklas, 
because rivalry is not really I am really excited to mess with early bird yeah, I think sorry Miklas but you are getting boxed and I'm going to train up that Delta Pidgey <laughs> a Pidgey that can petrify people pretty funny I mean look at the little Pidgey it wouldn't hurt a fly but it will hurt you so the roughneck with a scrafty I do have a clear uh, switch I jump kick four times resisted baby draining kiss doesn't take it out he can chip away all he wants Let's see how uh, what level milk will go to if it's level 18. I won't switch it in back. Snarl, Dragon Breath, Quick Attack, and Whirlwind now. Cool. Mawailai. Um, yeah, Pidgey just need another level, but I think I'm going to get that from a wild Pokemon. Ember. Because defense boost there we go <coughs> um, yeah I don't have waterfall a crocodile could have had a crocodile over a what did I get here <laughs> like I said my brain can sometimes be pudding So Delta Pidgey evolves into Delta Pidgeotto. That's something I'm sure about. There we go. And a Krikatoon. I just love those Krikatoons things, memes. Oh yeah, that's not doing anything now. So, said whoop, very said whoop. A poly wrath. He better not let me fear his poly wrath. <laughs> Got him. Uh, I don't like that. Please don't do that. Don't dynamic punch me. Miss again. Submission. That's fair enough. Thunder punch. Isn't gonna take it out. Okay, but submission misses and Thunder Punch now takes it out. No harm done there. And Pidgeot so is already level 21. This way it's going pretty fast. Even though it's a dragon type. Coral Town. You came from Route 5, yeah? There's a huge mess of caves in the, called the Samsara Cave. I'd love to explore it myself, but you need to, you need waterfall to get deep in. Plus, I've heard horrifying stories about that place. People go in and never come out, and statues start appearing that look exactly like them. Yeah. Um. I might, I might have found the cold print there, and it's flying right behind me. Crow is the economic stronghold of the region. That's why we that's why we have a stock market here. We also produce all the currency in Torren. So you basically are assholes. Okay. I'd love to be able to fly over the Torren region like the Brandon kid could back in Hoenn all those years ago. Who knows? Maybe sometimes in the near future I'll be able to do that. Did you know that Drifloon drags the souls of children away? Or that Banette is the spirit of a throwaway doll seeking a revenge on its owner. Some Pokemon are really creepier and darker than they first appear. Yeah, thanks. Already knew that. Uh, is that a stock market in the corner of town? Who would do that? Who would consider running a stock market when Pokemon exists? Sheesh. Of all things to have around here. Yeah. Like those cracked rocks around the region, I heard boulders can be pushed by moves too. I've heard, su I've had success with Steamroller, Whirlwind, and Bulldoze, but I'm sure there are tons more that work. I'm a lawyer. I do lawyer things. 
If you ever need someone to do lawyer things, I'm the lawyer for the job. Thanks, bud. Hey, wait, I do have Warwind on Pijillo right now. Great. Last time I played through, I didn't have anything to move Boulder, so... Okay, so it's a sliding puzzle now. Uh, I don't really like doing sliding puzzles, but whatever. Uh, it's getting... Okay, that was pretty easy. I got another mysterious scroll. And an encounter, the scrap. Um, get a para on it. That's nice. I got a little bit of damage. There we go. Hmm, scrap. Um, milk chocolate grew level. Wants to learn pursuit. I think Gonzo would be a great scrap. It looks like rotten kelp. It hides from foes while storing up power for its evolution. Gonzo. Just no reason. There we go. Um, let's explore the town for a bit, and I think that's all, all the time we have for today. Honestly. So, let's have a look. You probably have friends and a social life. Ha! How lame. I've got video games. Ha! <laughs> you widely under overestimated me, boy. I saw a bunch of creeps in town earlier. They were all dressed in green hoods and headed for the desert. I wonder what that was all about. Well, just creeps being creeps. The Rizai Desert is an artist's paradise. The beautiful rocks in the sand, and the rocks, and the sand, and the rocks! Actually, on second thought, forget I said anything about it. Yeah, thanks, bro. Uh, did I visit in here? No, I did not see the Ambi Palm and the Cheruby. I got a little bit lonely living by myself. Well, at least I have my Pokemon to keep company. Do you have anything interesting to say? The old stock market shut down once the Augur took over last year. It was disturbing. Suddenly the value of the currency took a huge dive. We still haven't recovered yet. Nobody really goes in there anymore. Ooh, it's a haunted probably. Them scientists are taking over Coral Town. <laughs> They're darn club and they're darn trying to educate my kids. It grinds my, uh, my metal. Never you mind, but I don't like them. My husband's been complaining ever since those scientists built that lab here. I don't see the problem. It's all in good fun. Anyone can join and they even offer payment for doing short favors. It's not like they interfere with your adventure at all either. Okay. New moon weather, yeah, I already know that because I drafted it. Um, I have low sweep, or low kick. Jaw fossil. A pearl. Rock smash. So I can definitely always smash rocks. Giggity. I think. <laughs> How do I feel about this? <laughs> about that giggity. Yeah, I'm not going to catch you. And last but not least, another Geodude, I guess. Uh, Drebble, but I think the cave fell under the um, town because I didn't see anything pop up. Let's have a look at the scrap. Let's have a look summary. 
Yeah, Coral Cave. Co Coral Cave. Damn. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, rock. Cool. I guess. Um, yeah. What do I do now? <laughs> do I... I was under the uh, assumption that the cavern was part of the town, but... <clears throat> Apparently it was not. So... Do I go for another dwebble, or did I just forfeit my encounter? I'm not sure. You guys decide. Do I get the Coral enc Town encounter, or do I just give it up? Um, basically, uh, sure. Oh yeah, this one. Milk and take care of those. So, yeah, I'm going to clear this one out and that's it for today. Let me know if you think I should get a Coral Town encounter or that I forfeited it because I ran away of the from the uh, Dwebble. And if you think I should be able to uh, say I get another encounter, do I should look for another Dwebble or can I go anything, can I do anything else? Because strange metal device on its back. Much shot misses. Ha! Take that. Um, do 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 so, um, yeah, again, let me know what you think I should be doing. Do I get to another encounter or do I just forfeited it? Let me know down below and let me know if you enjoyed it. Uh, I've been Forza and I hope you enjoyed. See you all for episode 11 next Monday. Bye!